Mets crushing loss tonight out at City Field as the Cubs came in for four, uh, first game of four, and Nimmo let off with a home run. It was all looking good, and that was the end of the Mets' offense. But Severino made it stand up. He pitched seven and a third innings into the eighth inning with a no hitter. He was pitching brilliantly, right? Eight innings, uh, seven and a third, five strikeouts, only one hit, one run. Severino, you could look at tonight's game from two separate angles. The long term, it looks good. Severino looks like he may have found what he lost last year or the previous two years. Diaz looks like he may have lost what he had two years ago. And that's where the concern comes in for the Mets, and it's a long-term concern. Now, now obviously, the short-term, it's a crushing loss. You want to win. It, it's okay, though. You know, they don't score runs. The Mets don't score runs when he, he the Severino got the ground tonight. He got, you know, the ground, and he's not the first pitcher. He's one of many, many pitchers that have pitched brilliant games and had the Mets get no run support. After the Nimmo home run, the Mets didn't really have two run. The Mets didn't have two guys on base until the ninth inning. And Beatty struck out, and he looked bad striking out. But the big concern here for me is Diaz. He's not the same pitcher. He's not as dominant. He doesn't have the aura about him coming into the game. Hitters don't seem to be scared up there. They don't fear him at all. He threw a high fastball that would have went right by the hitter two years ago. Three, four miles an hour less this year. And it's in the left field seats and the Mets lose three to one. And that's a big problem if Diaz is not the same pitcher. And, you know, he doesn't have to be as dominant. He doesn't have to be, you know, MVP Cy Young type of pitcher. But he's got to be better than he's been. He's been walking people. He gave up home runs. He now gave up this home run that lost the game. You have Diaz in there. Why do you put Diaz in there so you could get to the bottom of ninth and win the game? He's there to hold the Cubs. He comes in, walk, two-run homer. The Mets threatened a bit. They got the tying runs on base in the ninth, but the Cubs didn't do much to win this game. The Cubs on the base pass were terrible tonight. Terrible. They had multiple times where they forgot how many outs they were. They got doubled off on multiple pop-ups. They did everything to possibly lose this game. The Mets just didn't take any advantage. Their offense was nil, just like it was yesterday. And give Talion credit. He pitched well. But the Mets got to score some runs. You can't just rely on a home run. They did it yesterday. They relied on the home run. They got Vientos. They got a he hit the walk off. Today they get Nimmo right off the bat. And then after that, nothing. The bats went silent. Beatty looked terrible pinch hitting in the ninth inning with the tying runs on base. The Mets got four hits. Nimmo, McNeil, J.D. Martinez, and Tomas Nito. You know, they scattered four, uh, three singles after the Nimmo home run. And that was it. Lindor, again, another hitless night. His average back down to 202. Beatty's average has been dropping. He's still at a reasonable 285, but... It's been dropping. He has not hit lately. And, you know, people are saying maybe send him down. You can't send Beatty down. You can't. Because then you're going to shatter his confidence. We saw this two years ago when he went down. He came up. He got sent back down. And he just never hit again the rest of the season. You got to you gotta make your decision. If Beatty's your guy, you got to keep him up here. And I feel bad for Mark Fientos, who, you know, had a good year last year. And he was lined up to be the Mets D.H., but they signed J.D. Martinez, okay? You want to feel bad for Vientos? You want to, you want to leave him up here and then say no to J.D. Martinez? Because that's what you're going to have to do. Otherwise, you need to put Vientos back in the minors. It is what it is. He will probably end up getting traded, which, okay, that's okay because J.D. Martinez is better than he is. But nobody is hitting on this Mets team. They got no run support yesterday in a great pitch game. By Quintana. They got no run support today for Severino. And you're not going to win games. And then Diaz came in. And if he can't hold them. And if he's not pitching like he was two years ago. Then the Mets are in trouble. They're back to 514 and 14. As we come up on 30 games. They're right basically where we thought they would be. Right. You thought figured they were around the 500 team. They just took on a, a circuitous route to get there. 
you know, the, the losing streak in the beginning, the five game losing streak, one and six, and then they win 10 of 13. Then they go out West with a 500 road trip, get beat two out of three by the Cardinals. And then today's game. And they got three more with the Cubs, and the Cubs are playing well. The Cubs have won uh, uh, six of 11. So the Cubs come in playing well. Tomorrow you got Manaya and Assad. Assad's been excellent in his first two starts. He's 2-0. and And the Mets got to Mets got to get runs. You know, you got to find a way. Lindor hitting 202 is not going to get it done. Diaz is not the same pitcher. That's where I'd be really worried, that Diaz is not the same pitcher. He's lost four or five miles an hour off his off his fastball. That pitch tonight that, that ended up in the left field seats is a swing and a miss two years ago. And you could have all the light shows and all the trumpets that you want. If he's not getting hitters out, the Mets are in trouble. They're going nowhere. But, you know, listen, they played with, they've kind of kept their head above water here over these first 30 games when they were missing J.D. Martinez. Zenga still is not back. Threw off a mound, uh, 20 pitches. They said it looked good. Listen, like I said, I'm, until I see him, he's, it's going to be July for me. Until I see him pitch in a game, it's July. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's July anyway. But, you know, this is a bad loss. I get it. It's a bad loss. It feels bad. It feels worse than it is. But long-term, Diaz not not pitching the way you need him to pitch is going to really hurt this team. Now, long-term on the other side, Severino looks great. I was dead wrong about Severino, dead wrong. He proved, I said he's a one-inning pitcher. I was disgusted that they that they signed him. He's been the, the best pitcher on this staff. The bullpen, for the most part, has been good besides Diaz. You got Reed Garrett, who's striking everybody out. Reed Garrett had two big innings like yesterday. And yesterday was a big game for the Mets because you can't get swept coming off the West Coast trip by the Cardinals. The Cardinals are not a good team. The Cubs are better. And now you got three more with the Cubs. You got to at least split this series, which means you're going to have to win three out of the uh, two out of the next three. You got Manaya going tomorrow, 7 10 City Field against Assad, 2 0. Assad's pitched well. The Mets' bats are struggling. It's kind of a perfect storm. The Mets cannot lose three out of four this week to the Cubs. You can't have that happen. Because they're not good enough to, to dig themselves out of a hole if they get into another hole. Right now, they're, four, they're, they're, they're 500. They're right where we thought they were. The Braves are running away with the, with the division, of course. They're five and a half. I think six and a half may be up now. But the division's not what you're looking at if you're the Mets, right? The, the Braves are better. You're not, you know, nowhere near the Braves as far as talent level goes. It's basically like the Rangers and the Capitals, the Mets and the Braves. So don't look at that. It's still too early to look at any kind of standings. Go out there and win series. And they haven't been doing that. They won the series in LA. Then they lost two out of three to, to, to both the Giants and the Cardinals. And tonight, not a good start to this four game series. And you cannot go and lose three out of four this week. You do not want to do that. Diaz has got to get it together. They got to figure out what's going on with Diaz. Why is his velocity down? Why is he walking hitters? Was two years ago just a career year? You know, I listen, I don't, I would say probably because I don't, unless you're Mariano Rivera, I don't trust him, anybody out of the bullpen as far as I could throw him. Two hours and five minutes the game time was today. That is a that is a, a nice nice time. Two hours and five minutes. That is as fast as you're gonna get. I actually heard people say uh, today that the games are too fast, and maybe that's why the attendance is down. That listen, that's ridiculous. You can't say that now. You bitched a moment for how long that the games were too long. They shortened the games. Now they're too short. Come on, that's that's you just like complaining then. Because with the the damned if they do and the damned if they don't. They cut the now all the games are not 205, obviously. But now all of a sudden, no, nah, they're too short. It's not even worth going out there. Come on. It's April. They're not going out there because the weather sucks. Now today we had a today was summer. I was surprised that it was 85 degrees. It was it was beautiful out today. But you got summer, you got the the Knicks, the Rangers, the Islanders all playing. So 
stop with the attendance. But I would be worried if I'm the Mets about Diaz and Severino looks great. The Mets got to get start hitting though. You can't have Lindor hitting at the Mendoza line. Batty's dropping or Beatty's dropping his average. He has not hit well. Vientos and DJ Stewart cannot be your clutch hitters. They are not clutch hitters on a winning team. So they got to get the bats going. They got to figure out what's going on with Diaz. Everything else seems to be okay. The rest of the bullpen has been good. The offense, Diaz, and the starting rotation has been good. The offense, that's Diaz. Nimmo is hidden. Nimmo let off with a home run. And then it was just nothing for the rest of the day. Four hits for the Mets in a loss. Italian pitched well. Give him credit. Mets lose the first game of this series tomorrow night. Back at it, 7-10. Manaya pitching for the Mets. Assad for the Cubs. Mets got to get a win. You got you to gotta at least split this series. And we'll see how they do tomorrow night. Mets with a crushing loss tonight. 3-1 to one as they waste a brilliant pitching performance from Luis Severino.